Where the hell am I? You're in a women's prison. You're kidding me. Look around. Still think I'm kidding? Wait a minute, you must be from the first team. You're Serena, right? That's me. And you are? Samantha. I was hired by Mark to replace you. About Mark, there's something you should know. He's evil. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. I figured it out just as he was pulling a gun on me. So much for you being a rescue party then. Have you tried speaking with the guards? Once you explain that you're here by mistake... They don't speak English. Oh, what do they speak? Bosna! Bosnaya! Pushnatita! Wuda! Wuda Zenoya! I have no idea. Whatever it is, I don't speak it. And I'm guessing you don't either. And even if we did, how are we supposed to explain how we got here? We were forced to sit on a photocopier by a bad guy so that he could teleport us to a women's prison against our will? Even if they did speak English, they wouldn't believe us. Yeah, good point. For months, I hoped that a rescue party would show up. And I finally gave up hope. Unless you have somebody on the other end that knows where you are, you're stuck here just like I am. So like the guard just left the cell door open, eh? Yeah, these people don't get around like we do, so Bentak often forgets. He doesn't think I should be a prisoner anyway. Bentak? Did he say anything about, you know, how to get home? I mean, yeah, he's a pretty cool dude. Every day he brings me my food and shows me a card with a symbol on it. I think he's trying to teach me their version of poker. A, a symbol? You mean like a glyph? Who said what now? Dude, he's showing you a set of cards with places to get sent to. He's trying to help you to get home. Really? He likes having me here. I think he's lonely. They don't even have women here. <laughs> then hopefully, <laughs> Ella and Erica don't run into him before they find our note. Hmm. So, you two women come from Felix World? Yes. Do you know where he is? No. He is always in his room. But he was not there. And you two were there. We must get you home. You women have not lived here for millennia. Well, we would like to find our friends. Friend first. But then we will be happy to go. Bentek, we heard a legend about a... But Gia? Do you know it? Yes. The Bat Gia is the most sacred artifact. It is what gives our people the greatest power in the universes. The ability to portal. Mark said it was dangerous. We should still take it home with us. We shall banish you. I'll soon have my revenge on the elders who banished me from my home dimension. The card I drew from that drum was for this forsaken place, where there's no portal to get me home. That's what happened to that fool Jared all those centuries ago. He came here as an explorer, but the technology was not sufficiently advanced. And in spite of his endless research, he was never able to make his way home. However, the elders didn't realize that things had progressed over the years. When I saw the photocopiers that were in use here, I knew I had my way home. I just needed to find a glyph. With my superior knowledge and cunning, I built a business empire to fund my plan to return home. When they sent me here, they thought I'd be stuck on this world for all eternity. It took me years of searching and traveling the globe, but I eventually found the ancient manuscripts of Jared, and contained within those manuscripts was the glyph I needed to activate the portal. All I needed then was my destination. Fortunately, I had planned ahead. 
I had an image of my home dimension tattooed on my backside before I was banished. Of course, I couldn't simply return on my own. The elders had warned me that if I ever came back, I'd be banished to a hell dimension. My plan was simple. Trick my simple-minded employees into using the photocopier to go to my dimension and retrieve the one thing that could control all the portals. The Batgia! The source of the Ancient One's power! Once I have it in my possession, nothing can stop me from controlling all of time and space! <laughs> if only we had a photocopier, I could probably get us back. So, you figured out how it works? Mm, it's actually pretty simple. First you just photocopy the glyph. Sorry, the who's it what now? The glyph. It's a mystical symbol. Here, I have a picture of it on my phone. Then you take a picture of the place you want to go, then you sit on the photocopier and push the button. Glyph, destination, person. So, all we need is a photocopier. Or anything else that can... Wait a minute. I've got an idea. You know, this just might work. If we set up the phone to display a picture of the glyph, then a picture of the place, then I take a picture of your butt, I could probably send you to that location. Great, let's try it. Okay, I'm gonna use a picture that I took outside the office in the parking lot. All right, drop your pants. Ucha, burrito, frata, rosa, swanzi, and dorta. Oh, burrito, uda, frata, uda. Oh, burrito, oh, rindo, dorta. They're here. Oh, those look like the cards that Ben Tack showed me. Okay, you go get the picture of Earth and I'll get the bike gear. No, no, no. I found it. Oh. Hey, Frank. No, no, Batkia. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, I had a photo of the glyph on my phone. You could have got here a little quicker and figured it out because, uh, you know, I didn't need to see the Himalayas that close. Good thing you had a photo of the office on it, too. Uh, come on, let's get this thing to Mark. Right? No. Hey, don't! Don't look at that thing! Mark's evil. He sent us both to women's prison at gunpoint. Oh, come on now. I'm hardly evil. <laughs> I only want the greatest power in all of the universe in my possession. I promise. I'll only do good with you. You sent me to a place with no women or Twitter for six months. He's pure evil. What are you doing? No! See how you like having no Twitter now. Well, what should we do with this? Hey, look, there's a switch. You are banished to the hell dimension. I say, you are banished to the hell dimension. <laughs>